All ships, big or small, are to follow the rules as long as they sail on seas. These include small yachts, fishing vessels, and other barges. All waters connected to the high seas include major rivers which have ports on their banks and which are visited by seagoing vessels. All bays and canals which are connected to the seas provided that they are sailed on by ocean-going vessels. Traffic Separation Scheme The IMO may decide at any time and place to impose a traffic separation scheme which would make it easier to navigate in a major traffic area. The above traffic separation schemes will be for the purpose of enhancing the effectiveness of these collision regulations. At certain times or circumstances, it may not be possible to strictly go as per the rule. Seamen may have to deviate from the rules. If he thinks that any action by following the rules in a special situation shall endanger the ship, then in that case, deviation from the rule may be permitted to avoid danger. The term vessel includes all types of craft that float on water and are used as means of transportation, including crafts which do not displace water such as hovercrafts. A seaplane, when on the water, displaces water so long as it is on the surface of water and is considered as a vessel. A seaplane is not considered a vessel when flying above the water's surface. Since no propulsion system has been mentioned in this part of the rule, all barges are also included. Power-driven vessel here means power obtained from machinery such as diesel engines to move the vessel. Sailing vessels are not included as long as they are purely under sail. Vessels under oars are also not included. As long as the sailing vessel is moving by wind sail, they are called sailing vessels. Some of the sailing vessels have provision for use of their main engine and propeller. The moment their main engine is started, they are termed as power-driven vessels, even if they hoist sails. So, as long as this main engine on sailing vessels is not used, they are termed as sailing vessels. Fishing vessels means vessels actually fishing with their equipment in the water and are unable to move away and keep up other vessels. If the fishing vessels have secured their fishing lines and nets, and the equipment does not restrict their taking evasive action, for safety, then they are not fishing vessels. The equipment under the rules include nets, lines, trawls, or other equipment used for fishing. Seaplanes are the one which by their construction and purpose can safely land, take off, and maneuver on water. A vessel not under command means any vessel which because of some reason cannot keep out of the way of other vessels. The reasons normally are beyond its control, like main engine breakdown and she cannot anchor, or steering failure, or launching a rescue boat. Vessel constrained by her draft is a power-driven vessel which because her draft in comparison to the depth of water at that place is so great that she cannot alter to avoid a collision. If it does so, she would run aground. However, if the width of the channel is sufficient, then they are not considered constrained by draft. Similarly, if the depth of the same VLCC is 20 meters, or about 65.6 .6 feet, in a channel as wide as 30 to 40 nautical miles, then the VLCC would not be a vessel constrained by her draft. A vessel underway means that a vessel is not at anchor. It is not made fast to the shore. It is not aground. It is considered underway when drifting or moving. Similarly, a vessel dragging anchor is considered as underway. In the rules, 
Length of the vessel means its length overall, and the breadth means the extreme breadth. Restricted visibility may be caused by fog, mist, snow, rainstorm, sandstorm, or similar conditions, and also by any other means, like forest fires, which cause restricted visibility over the nearby sea. Wing in ground crafts cruise close to the water with about less than one wingspan's length over the surface. This gives extra lift and decreases the drag. The rules define the following vessels as being restricted in their ability to maneuver. A vessel which engaged in laying, servicing, or picking up a navigational mark, submarine cable, or pipeline. A vessel engaged in dredging, surveying, or underwater operations. Some vessels, when engaged in replenishment or transferring persons, provisions, or cargo while underway. A vessel such as aircraft carrier, which is engaged in the launching or recovery of aircraft. A vessel engaged in mine clearance operations. A vessel engaged in a towing operation when towing other ships or barges and towing operations restrict the towing vessel and her tow in the ability to deviate from their course.